Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. According to a report from the British Army Intelligence Services dated May 13, 2024, there has been a substantial escalation in the utilization of light vehicles by Russian forces in the ongoing Ukraine conflict. The report highlights an increased deployment of all-terrain vehicles and off-road motorbikes for various purposes, including personnel transport and night raids on Ukrainian positions, since the beginning of the year. One significant aspect of this escalation is the adoption of Chinese-made Desert Cross 1000-3 all-terrain vehicles from Odes Industries by Russian forces. These vehicles, personally inspected by Russian President Vladimir Putin in November 2023, have become a critical component of Russia's tactical approach. With over 2,100 of these vehicles reportedly purchased by Russia, there is evidence of a strategic shift towards the use of mobile and flexible units. During his visit to the Russian armed forces in Rostov-on-Don, President Putin reviewed the newly acquired Desert Cross 1000-3 all-terrain vehicles from China, as reported by TASS on November 10, 2023. The Russian military currently possesses 537 of these vehicles in the basic configuration, with plans to receive an additional 1,590 units. Additionally, on July 3, 2023, the editorial team at Army Recognition reported that the Russian Ministry of Defense has formed specialized light units tasked with engaging enemy armored vehicles and tanks. These units utilize versatile all-terrain vehicles equipped with the AT-4 Spigot anti-tank guided missile system. The tactical advantages of these all-terrain vehicles, particularly their mobility, enable swift repositioning, strategic retreats, and effective pursuits, making them essential in modern warfare. Their compact size and reduced footprint also provide a stealth advantage, particularly for ambush tactics. Armed with the Soviet-designed at for spigot anti-tank guided missile system, these specialized units pose a significant threat to enemy armored vehicles and tanks. The missile's capability to adjust its trajectory mid-flight enhances its effectiveness against moving targets, ensuring its continued relevance on the battlefield. Russian tactics have adapted to extensively employ these light vehicles for reconnaissance missions against Ukrainian defenses, potentially setting the stage for subsequent artillery strikes and drone attacks. However, this strategy comes with a notable trade-off, as the increased reliance on lighter, more mobile vehicles also exposes Russian forces to counterattacks. Ukrainian forces have successfully targeted these lightly armored vehicles using their first-person view, FPV, drones, exploiting this vulnerability. The shift towards lighter vehicles represents a significant change in Russian military strategy, reflecting an adaptation to the evolving dynamics of the conflict. However, it also exposes new vulnerabilities in their operational tactics, which Ukrainian forces have effectively exploited. That's all for now, see you later.